Good morning, Skyline. My name is Mercedes. And I'm Maddie. And your Skyline School starts right now. now. Welcome back, Raiders. Like the little dignity we had for ourselves, this week went quick. Yeah, I kind of miss the person I was before being an anchor, you know? With these scripts Maddie writes, I'm just going downhill. Uh, you be writing the scripts too. Yeah, but you write them more than I do. Nuh-uh. Anyway, the point is, we need a break, guys. But oh no, no break for us. The Skynet grind don't stop. Never back down, never what? Never give up. That's so lame. Never back down, never what? Never give up. That's the spirit. Doing Skynet all year long is starting to feel like an eternity, but you know what will probably last that long, or maybe if you like keep it well kept and you know, in a nice place, a yearbook. Well, yes kids, yearbooks are on sale now for $60 until October 4th. And you already know what will happen after that. So get them while you still can. It can be a permanent little reminder of how cool we are. <laughs> because you don't know anyone cooler. Let's be honest. Now, on to another cool person who will definitely be in the yearbook, America. And we're not changing the graphic because we're protesting the new one. Thanks, Maddie. Happy Thursday, Raiders. For today, we have a 10% chance of rain and a 71% humidity. A high will be 88 degrees and low will be 73 degrees. For tomorrow's weather, we'll have a high of 90 degrees and a low of 69 degrees with a 9% chance of rain and a 67% humidity. Though we can't really see the sun with this weather, our sunrise was at 7.04 a.m. and our sunset will be at around 7.45. That's all we have for weather today. Back to you, ladies. Still the same. Wow. Yeah, and it's still not it. I don't know. It's like nothing can beat the original, you know? I know, but I worked so hard on it. Well, Raiders, let's, let's be sorry for Maddie. But if you want SAT scores better than America's intro, you should attend our upcoming prep sessions starting next Tuesday at 4.40 p.m. in room 204. The sessions will alternate between math and reading each week. So stop by for more info and to sign up. Don't miss the chance to boost your scores and reach your college goals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now... On to the highlight of my day, every day. <sighs> Wait, can can I do it? Um, weren't you hating like last week? Yeah, but like, I don't know, it just seems cool and I just wanna be included. Okay, go ahead. Okay, here it goes. Wait, I need a, I need a second. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's go talk about a guy who moved on from the afterlife and left the world with the dumbest, most pointless last words ever in a movie we watched sophomore year, back before Maddie was a TV nerd, <laughs> and didn't understand then and surely won't understand now. Okay, like, I watched the end of the movie. Like, I came for the last minute. <sighs> Go get him, Gabriel. Good morning, Raiders. My name is Gabriel Marin, and welcome to On This Day in Pop Culture, where I'll be showing you the most influential movies, music, and media released on this day in history. And on this day, September 5th, 1941, Citizen Kane released in the United States. Utilizing flashbacks and witnesses, the movie uncovers the mystery of a wealthy publisher's last word, Rosebud. I think it would be pretty funny if I just said something really cryptic before I die. I should start thinking of words now. Mahogany. Black Orchid. Tapir. I'll think of one later. The movie is constantly referred to as the greatest movie of all time. Countless filmmakers have cited this movie as their inspiration. We actually watched it in our RTVF class, and I do have to say, it was alright. We could have used some dinosaurs. Well, that's it for today. Tune in to tomorrow to see what happened on that day in pop culture. Thanks, kid. Man, Homeboy was so rich, but so sad. Yeah, it's tragic. I wonder if things played out differently, what he could have done with all that money. Well, he probably could have put someone or multiple someones through college with all of that dough. Well, if you want to go to college and want some connections or help, 
you know it's your lucky day because we always keep you informed. We have some big college events coming up to Skyline. Smith's College will be visiting us September 9th, 2024 in the library, like always. Students, you must be there by 9.15 a.m. All grade levels are welcome to attend, but you must register using the QR code right here. And Tufts University is coming as well. You can join us in the library at 9.45 a.m. on September 11th to explore their 90 plus majors. And that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Also, the ASP College kickoff is on September 14th at 9 a.m. This is an interactive workshop style event that allows students to learn more about the college going process from their very own admission officers that will also be admitting them later on this year. That's pretty cool. More than 20 universities are confirmed to attend. Mm -hmm. So you should probably go. <laughs> but we're not going to leave out your parents. They're also welcome to attend. They will have their own meeting to learn about the college process. So y'all come on down. You can visit the Raider Career Center in room 204 for more information. Now, Skyline, please congratulate the following seniors for their nomination to the Posse. <laughs> Posse is a last dollar scholarship that essentially covers their full tuition at one of our partner institutions. That's mm -hmm. a big accomplishment because they have to go through several interviews and rounds. They ultimately get chosen from one of the partner colleges to receive a fully funded scholarship. Wow, that's Go amazing. Raiders. <laughs> but you know, if college isn't your thing, we know it's not for everyone, so. It's not your only choice. Like the military and JRTC, if you want to help out their brave individuals, JRTC will have a blood drive on Friday, September 13th. Or Friday the 13th, it's so fitting and perfect. Oh, you can sign up starting September 9th through the 12th in front of the cafeteria or the senior cafeteria. You have to be 16 to donate and you need a parent to sign the waiver. All students must have their IDs with them. Well, Mercy, these announcements are starting to get a mouthful. <laughs> they sure are. Let's see if the ladies can we can always count on are available to help. Thanks, anchors. I'm Axel, and I'll be in the cafeteria interviewing the lunch ladies. Um, I'm Nana. I'm from Louisiana. I like seafood. Anything that come out the water, I pretty much eat it. <laughs> Hi, good morning. My name is Yolanda Fisher. I'm the cafeteria manager here at Skyline. One thing about me, my love language is serving our students their meals. Hi, well, my name is Dahlia. Um, one thing I like Skyline to know about me is that I like helping people. Uh, students, staff, uh, wherever the situation may be. I love helping people. <laughs> uh, my name is Maria Vasquez. I'm working here for uh, 16 years, and now I'm the cook on the kitchen. And I love and enjoy to, uh, to cook for these kids. This has been Axel with the Lunch Ladies. Back to you, Anchor Girls. Yeah, it's crazy to see a whole new side to this cafeteria staff. Mm-hmm. I think these ladies deserve some recognition for their hard work. Raiders, if you see them in the cafeteria, give them a warm smile and a thank you. It's always nice to be kind. Now, Raiders, pay close attention. If you are interested in Ms. Mueller's 2026 trip to Japan and South Korea, you must go to the library September 11th at 5.30 p.m. for parent information. Scan the QR code to register for the meeting. Speak to Ms. Mueller in room 334 or 334. <laughs> Raiders, this is a really cool opportunity that could give you amazing experiences. Yeah, make sure not to miss it because this is gonna be a really exciting trip. On the topic of am amazing experiences, you don't wanna miss a game because this season is bond to, bound to bring some amazing surprises. So be a part of the athletic training program. This is a great program for students to join if they're interested in athletics combined with an introduction into the medical field. If you're interested, please stop by the athletic training room in A19 or you can email Ms. Jasmine to get more information. A really cool program. I wish we could join. Well, that's it for this humble Thursday, Raiders. <laughs> Catch you later, alligators. After a while, crocodile. Your Skyline Scoop ends right now. now.